This is Show Me Your Shack for April of 2015. Larry Anderson, W6LAR, the technical liaison officer for the Jerry L. Pettis Veterans Administration Amateur Radio Club, sent us photos from the Memorial Hospital in Loma Linda, California. The group has about 20 members at this time. They're all required to go through VA volunteer program before becoming club members. The club provides training, VE testing, and emergency communications for the hospital and operates under the hospital safety department. They have a weekly UHF roundtable net, and Monday through Friday they run an HF open net. The club operates from 9 till 11 California time, Monday through Friday, on 14255, plus or minus a kilohertz or two if there's interference. Here they work on their antennas mounted on a 40-foot tower on the roof of the hospital. Well, Ted, K7TRK, said Stella was upset since we missed her picture last month. He sent another. Here's the operating position of Kevin, VE9XYZ, in St. John, New Brunswick. He uses a Kenwood TS570DG, an ICOM 706MK2, and a soft rock light two pan adapter. He also uses a Mosley TA33 MW ARC beam and a ground mounted Cushcraft ATV5 vertical, as well as 80, 20, and 17 meter dipoles. Here's a winter view from Kevin's tower cam. It's mounted just above the beam. Uh, pointed toward his QTH just below the tower. Well, Gordo spoke to the Villages, Florida Amateur Radio Club last month. Here the crowd looks on as Gordo speaks from the big screen at the front of the room. And here the crowd applauds. Thanks to Bruce, WA1UTQ, for providing these photos for Ham Nation. Well, George, EI7GKB in Ireland, wants us to keep the Ham Nation videos coming, and he sent us a picture of his nice shack in Ireland. Justin, KD8MVR, operates a Kenwood TS450 and an ICOM 27H 2-meter rig. He also has an Collins R390 receiver. Well, John, KB0BVK, operates a rig that just fits in the pantry. Alan, KB1YO's shack, includes both an ICOM 7000 and a Yesu FTDX 3000. He also uses a Yesu FT1D, an ICOM ID51, a Yesu FT252, and eight Uniden scanners. Franz, DJ9, Zed Baker, sent us two pictures of the E30 FB expedition uh, held earlier this year. He uses a Heil headset during the operation. And here's a look at that operation from the other side of the room. Well, Dan, WA5CYR near Tupelo in Mississippi, likes to build his own antennas. Here's a rotary dipole built from scrap aluminum tubing, a five-foot PVC pipe, and lots of hose clamps. His first contact with this antenna, just seven feet off the ground, was from Spain. Here's a shot of Dan's ATB-34 Cushcraft four-element beam. You can also see his 75-meter inverted V hanging at the 40-foot level. The ends are at 10 feet. Troy, KC8FAS, has already sent pictures in for Show Me Your Shack. Now he has a new shack with a fresh coat of paint, a new desk, and a shelf he built himself. Here's the new shack. Well, Jim, AC0KN, worked with the Kansas City DX Club newsletter editor to gather pictures of club members to introduce them to new members. The first photo is Jim, Alpha Alpha Zero Mike Zulu. 
Well, these guys know how to work DX. They have great shacks with nice rigs. Here's Jim, AC0KN, and his shack. And this is Cliff, K0CA. He's the former ARRL Midwest Division Director in his shack. This is George, K0GY. He's using a paddle while operating CW in his shack. And this is Larry, K0WRL, in his compact shack. And this is Charlie, K0THM. He's operating CW with his bug. And here's a shot of John, KC0DEB, in the shack with his daughter looking on. Now this is Duncan, KU0DM. He's at the keyboard during a recent contest. And this is John W0JLC at his rig. And this is Barry W0LHK. He has a lot of gear in a compact DX shack. Last but not least, Bob W7KU tests his portable rig during one of the club's special events. And that's it for April. Send your shack photos to Ham Nation videos at TWIT.TV. We'll work on getting them into the next Show Me Your Shack. That episode will be in early May.